In this Diablo 4 video, I'm going to be showing you my Whirlwind Barbarian build. This is a beginner Barbarian build that's aimed at World Tiers 1 and 2, and should help to get you started playing the Whirlwind style of play that Barbarians are famous for. So let's jump into how this build plays, and obviously the main feature of this build is the Whirlwind skill, which deals damage to multiple enemies at the same time, allowing you to chew through groups instantly. The idea with this build is to start by using Lunging Strike to close the gap between you and enemies, followed by Rallying Cry to generate enough fury before activating Whirlwind. Once you have them in your clutches, you should trigger Warcry to acquire Berserking in order to significantly improve your damage. These combinations of buff will allow you to maintain Whirlwind while moving forward through any dungeon without having to worry about Fury as long as there are enemies to hit. For elites and boss fights, you can activate Wrath of the Berserker for an even greater boost in damage and movement speed. Since Shout skills have a limited duration, you'll need to manage them depending on the situation that you're facing. So having shown you the basic concept of the build, let's take a closer look at the skills, and the first one is Lunging Strike. Against multiple enemies, regardless of the range, you'll want to start by using Lunging Strike. Not only will this allow you to charge forward through the battlefield to compensate for your initial lack of mobility, but you'll also deal moderate individual damage. The good thing about this basic skill is it generates enough fury, which we'll then use later on for Whirlwind. Next, we'll be adding Enhancing Lunging Strike and Battle Lunging Strike, which will be useful against any enemy type. Enhanced Lunging Strike heals a portion of your HP when you attack a healthy target, whereas Battle Lunging Strike inflicts bleeding to deal damage over time. Note that both upgrades increase single target damage, which comes in very handy for boss fights. Next is Rallying Cry. The best way to enhance fury generation and movement speed with this build is by triggering Rallying Cry, especially with the Tactical Rallying Cry upgrade. This lets you automatically gain sufficient fury to start using Whirlwind and to be able to quickly fill the gauge at the beginning of a fight. What makes it even better is that with Enhanced Rallying Cry you become unstoppable, which essentially removes and prevents any crowd control effects inflicted on you. So for instance, if you're stunned or slowed, you'll be able to immediately break out of it in addition to receiving immunity over them. Overall, Rallying Cry is the best skill to gain a consistent amount of fury while protecting yourself from any impairments. It's also a good fallback should things get too dicey on the battlefield, especially if you get stunlock. Up next we come to Whirlwind, which is of course what this build is named after. Once you have sufficient fury, you should start channeling Whirlwind. This is the Whirlwind Barbarian's bread and butter skill that lets you deal massive AoE damage to as many enemies as possible. The reason why it's best to be surrounded by multiple targets is that you'll want to keep your fury generation up at all times. The more of them you damage, the more fury you end up saving thanks to enhanced whirlwind, allowing you to keep whirlwind active at all times. While casting whirlwind, you'll be able to move through enemies without impairment, so the trick is to keep spinning over as many enemies as possible and to avoid hitting isolated enemies. Otherwise, you'll waste the resource you should have gained. Last but not least, the Furious Whirlwind upgrade will apply a bleeding effect, and the Pressure Points passive will make enemies vulnerable, allowing you to take full advantage of most of the equipment effects. The next skill is Warcry. Warcry is another shout that further increases your damage output, and more so when you have Enhanced Warcry. Enhanced Warcry instantly grants Berserking, which considerably boosts your damage and movement speed, as well as enabling some aspects and effects that require the Berserking status. You're going to need a lot of mobility for this Whirlwind build to not only attack enemies, but also create breathing room if you need to. During the early game, I don't recommend getting an upgrade for Warcry because you'll only get the boost for a very limited duration, so you'll be best off using those points to increase your other passives, but you'll definitely want to upgrade it eventually. During boss fights, you'll want to start off by landing a couple of Lunging Strike hits to set some bleeding and build up some fury, and once you've done this, you'll cast Rallying Cry, Warcry, and then Wrath of the Berserker, and then start using Whirlwind moving in circles around the boss to avoid his attacks. And this of course brings us to Wrath of the Berserker. Wrath of the Berserker is perfect for this build when used in combination with both upgrades Prime Wrath of the Berserker and Supreme Wrath of the Berserker. When cast you'll gain movement speed, fury generation, berserking, and unstoppable. The increased attack speed in combination with the other effects in Rallying Cry allows you to keep up with fury generation even when targeting a single enemy. Berserker will provide 25% bonus damage for every fury spent, which we'll constantly be using because of Whirlwind. The buff only lasts for 5 seconds, but you can use a single Lunging Strike to refresh its duration. This basic skill will also be useful in inflicting bleeding and whittling down the boss's health in addition to momentarily escaping precarious situations. Once your buffs wear off, you won't be able to sustain Whirlwind any longer and you'll want to swap to Lunging Strike, hit a couple of times, and use Whirlwind again. Repeat until you can cast both Rallying Cry and Warcry again, and use them together to finish off the boss. Maxing out the Booming Voice passive is crucial for this build, as it'll allow you to maintain your shouts and thus your whirlwind for longer. The Barbarian has access to a unique mechanic called the Arsenal System, which was not available in the beta. Each skill can use either one or several types of weapons from your arsenal being bludgeoning, left slot, dual wield, mid slot, and slashing right slot. When performing a skill, you can choose which weapon you'll use while attacking with that skill. 
To set a specific arsenal weapon type for a skill, open the skill menu and hover over the skill on your toolbar. Press the cycle weapon button and select the type of weapon you want to use. Now each time you attack with that particular skill, you use that specific weapon. This serves two purposes. First, each weapon has a unique expertise passive that will apply when using that weapon. For this build, you'll want to use one of the following weapon types for your slashing weapon. Two-handed axe, which deals percentage increased damage to vulnerable enemies, which combos perfectly with the pressure point passive. Or you'll want to use a two-handed sword that gives a percent of direct damage you deal inflicted as bleeding damage over five seconds. The second purpose is weapon swapping. Many aspects and passives provide you with bonuses each time you swap weapons. In this case, you'll want to set bludgeoning for lunging strike and slashing for whirlwind. Slashing for whirlwind is a must here, or your furious whirlwind effect will not trigger. Once you hit level 15, you'll get access to the class mechanic quest Masters of Battle. Once you complete it, you'll unlock the technique slot, allowing you to select a weapon expertise effect that will apply to all attacks regardless of the weapon type. For this build, you'll ideally want to either have two-handed axe or two-handed sword equipped. You should slot the technique of the opposite weapon type to get both bonuses while you use Whirlwind. Don't make this a priority though, and focus on getting the best possible weapon while you level up. Final Tips For this build, be on the lookout for Strength, plus Rank to Active Skills, plus Rank to Whirlwind, Damage to Close Enemies, Vulnerable Damage, Critical Strike Damage, and Fury Cost Reduction. You'll notice that you have one empty active slot. This is intentional, as you'll want to maximize damage with your Whirlwind instead of adding more active skills. When you level up enough, you can add Charge as it provides Unstoppable, allowing you to remove crowd controlling effects. This is one of the most powerful Diablo 4 builds for the Barbarian class due to how quickly you'll clear mobs of enemies, but you'll need some aspects to get it going. Remember that the Barbarian has 4 weapon slots, and 2 of those are two-handed which provide 100% bonus to their aspects. Here are some codex of power aspects you'll want to search for, but make sure you include any lucky drops you find as well. For offense, you want Aspect of the Dire Whirlwind. This makes it so that Whirlwind's critical chance increases based on the time you're using Whirlwind. Aspect of Berserk Ripping makes it so while berserking, inflicting part of the damage as bleed. Aspect of Ancestral Echoes, while using Whirlwind, summons an Ancient that mimics your Whirlwind for a short duration, which will boost your damage further. And Aspect of Anemia, chance to stun bleeding enemies when damaging them. For defensive, you want Aspect of the Disobedience, which makes it so you gain increased armor while hitting enemies. Aspect of the Protector, which gives you a barrier shield when you damage an elite, and Iron Blood Aspect, which means that you gain damage reduction for each nearby bleeding enemy. And lastly, for Fury Generation, look for the Aspect of Echoing Fury, which generates fury per second while shots are active. And lastly, since you're going to activate Berserk frequently, remember to also invest in Aggressive Resistance, mainly to gain access to Prolific Fury. So each time you enter this powerful state, your fury increases, which will allow you to maintain Whirlwind longer. What we're going for here is the maximum amount of Whirlwind uptime possible. So that wraps up our Whirlwind Barbarian beginner build. I hope you guys found this useful. For those of you out there looking to make a Whirlwind style build, this is kind of how you get going with it. If you have questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And make sure you bookmark the wiki and our interactive map if you have further questions about the game or you need a little help finding things on the map. So what did you guys think of the build? Let me know in the comments below.